A design that dated from the earlier Saint class locomotives, the Hall classes were no different to any other normal 460 on the GDR. Nothing special, rather standard locomotives. However, one of them has managed to bring a lot of interest into an area, has managed to have a lot of BBC coverage, or because it was a flagship of a railway. In May 1929, at a cost of £5,107, Chidibois 4930 Hagley Hall rolled out a Swindon Works under Lot 254. Unfortunately, there is not a plethora of information on what Hagley Hall got up to in the Chidibois era or the BR era. All that we know is that it probably just worked general goods trains and passenger trains. However, we do know the sheds that it was at. And this could be written in the form of a song, but I'm not very good at singing, so I'll just read them out. It was new to Wolverhampton's Stafford Road Depot, and during its career it served at the following other depots in succession. Wolverhampton Oxley, Chester, Bristol St Philip Marsh, Wolverhampton Oxley, Wolverhampton Stafford Road, Oxley, Weymouth, Oxley, Chester, Oxley, Tisley, Leamington, Tisley, St Philip's Marsh, Weymouth, Bristol Bath Road, St Philip's Marsh, Westbury, Taunton, Exeter, Taunton, Exeter, Old Oak Common, and Swindon. A lot of places. Hagley Hall was withdrawn from service in December 1963, having run 1 million miles in service, and was sold to Wooden Brothers Scrapyard in Barry, arriving there in April 1964. The large number of redundant wagons arriving for scrap ensured that most of the steam locomotives in the yard remained untouched by the cutter's torch and 4930 Hagley Hall was numbered amongst these survivors. The locomotive was purchased by the SVR's holding company in June 1972 and was moved dead by rail to Budley on the 6th of January 1973. Restoration commenced at Budley and continued in earnest at Bridgenorth in 1978. At the completion of this full restoration, and following a few test runs and minor rectification work in August 1979, its return to passenger work took place on the 22nd of September 1979, when it double-headed faultlessly with Black 5 LMS number 5000 from Hereford to Chester and return with the SVRA's intercity charter. In preservation, Hagley Hall was first coupled to Hawksworth tender number 4117, but in 1984, this was exchanged for collet tender number 2563, which was formerly paired with 6960 Raveningham Hall. The Hawksworth tender was returned when 6960 left the SVR in 1996. It gained its flagship status when, in 1984, it was selected to haul the official reopening train for Kidderminster Town Station on the 30th of July. Following that, it made several mainline appearances, double-heading with engines such as Elstoke Manor and Hinton Manor. It made several successful trips over the South Devon Banks during the GWR 150 celebrations, and it was sent from Bridge North to Plymouth over overnight to replace the failure of the much larger King-class engine. Unfortunately, withdrawal from SVR traffic came in October 1986 after suffering failure of several boiler stays. Although this was considered an insignificant repair, with only a short amount of time remaining left on its boiler ticket, a legal requirement every 10 years, before requiring another overhaul, such work could not be justified. Between 1986 and 1999, it was stored at Bridge North with other locomotives, awaiting its turn for overhaul. In 1999, an agreement was reached between the SVR and MacArthur Glen Shopping Centre in Swindon for the loan of Hagley Hall, as it was an appropriate exhibit for display in the designer shopping complex, which was on the site of the former GDWR Swindon Works. It was cosmetically restored prior to the move, and was tended by a group of volunteers from the nearby Steam Museum during its seven years stay in Swindon. In June 2007, it saw the return of 4930 Hagley Hall from Swindon to the Seven Valley Railway by road. During this, it made a detour to visit the stately home after which it was named. This is to be believed to be a unique in the history of GWR name locomotives. 
as this was the first time any of the Hall classes had gone to a place that they were named after. After an unfortunate flood at Highley in the summer of 2007, Hagley Hall finally made it into the engine house on March 16, 2008. It was on display there until 2013, which signalled the long-awaited start of the overhaul and restoration process. The overhaul itself was covered by media greatly. There were many setbacks during the overhaul, including requirement of a new cylinder block, major boiler work, and several other minor defects. The date was pushed back from 2017 to 2020, and then later 2022. Thanks to the efforts of the SVR and the Friends of Hagley Hall group, Hagley Hall finally steamed in September 2022. After a gap of 36 years, Hagley Hall pulled its first passenger train on the 9th of September. The locomotive, of course, hasn't been without issue since its return to traffic. With most steam engines, not everything goes exactly to plan. However, since further rectifying of issues, the locomotive has been a reliable runner. It has once again taken its title as the flagship of the SVR's fleet and was outshopped in the gorgeous G de Bois Sherpa and lined green. Of course, this locomotive doesn't match the absolute loudness of Elstoke Manor or the charm of 7714. However, it is a symbol that shows anything is possible, no matter how impossible it seems. With all the odds against each group that helped with the overhaul, they persisted through and finished the job and to what a standard they finished it hopefully once this boiler ticket finishes it won't be another 36 year gap until we see it back in service again many thanks for watching you guys have voted Elstoke Manor as the next locomotive to be covered so I better get working on that but first a trip to town I think